Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we've got Gunslinger KF Rig. Suicidal. I forgot to make sure that the uh, the audio is balanced well. I'll do that after this episode. <laughs> and uh, if I'm just going to hope that it is, and uh, if it isn't, then I'll just have to re record them. That's okay. Why am I going this way? You go this way. Or that way. But this way. Hoping it's fine. I'm hoping it's okay. We'll see. We'll have to wait and see. You guys already know. If you're seeing this episode, it was obviously fine. Uh, and if you aren't, then it was obviously not. But you won't know that it wasn't because I'll have deleted it and wasted all the time recording this. And it'll suck. I mean, I could, like, go through and, and re... Like, I, I, I could go in and, and rebalance it and make sure it's all lined up, you know, in post. I could do that. But the thing is... Is doing that is going to take me about as long as just recording another dang episode, so... I'll just record another dang episode. Yeah, not really worth it in my opinion. Got a, got a lot more recording to do today. I might end up doing less, because I, I really just don't want to record. I want to play Monster Hunter, man. I might also just do it all. I think I will. I mean... The, the right answer is two, right? Like, the right answer is, is definitely... See ya, dude. Is definitely to, uh, to record it all, you know? That's that's obviously the right thing to do. I, uh, I make no attempt to, uh, to dissuade you from believing that uh, recording it all is the right thing to do. I still want to get into my uh, 3D printing. I've got... That's uh, so what I've got going on is... Um, I guess I can show you, actually, for 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 the RuneScape on my mobile phone thing, I can show you. Yeah, sure. I, I can I can show you how I got this going up. Hold up, it'll be a jank way to show. Okay, be a jank AF way to show it. Okay, so I take a picture, then I go over to my Discord, my personal Discord, not the one that you guys have access to. I verify to make sure that the picture has nothing in it that I don't want to show. And it doesn't seem to. Yeah, seems fine. Then, we alt tab over here. <laughs> Go to my Discord. Open it up in a new tab. And, uh... Then I kind of pop it over here. So we got the, the phone, my old phone. Which is sitting there, lodged into uh, this book. My keyboard is, like, right down at the bottom. Kind of, like, wedging it right there. And then uh, we got... An iFixit kit behind it with a battery pack lodging it up against there so it kind of gets stuck right here leaning up against the iFixit kit. And then throughout the day, I just click on like this region right here every minute or two. Right there. And uh, that is all there is to it. Um, but I want to get, instead of that, where are we going? Because I got a 3D printer, right? I have a 3D printer. And um, what I want to do is I want to print like a little like cell phone holder thing there so that I can just plop it in there and then have like a way to charge it and stuff. And it would be, be pretty cool. It would be a nice little project to do because I haven't, I haven't uh, played with my 3D printer like at all since I got it. Because I intended to do like D&D &D miniatures and stuff and then uh, my computer ended up like breaking down at the time so I didn't have any way to, to do any kind of modeling or whatever and then when I got my new computer like COVID was already happening I wasn't doing D&D &D in person anymore and I didn't need the miniatures and then I kind of just lost motivation to use it at all and I have not touched it um, but I have like the the filament sitting there I have the 3d printer sitting there and I'm like you know what this would be a good excuse to go ahead and use it you know to, to build like a little a little thing and uh get it nice and beautified you know anyway I might try that I don't know I'm not good at modeling I don't know how to like do it <laughs> to make it like work and then make sure that it like fits the the phone properly and all that but I think it could be it could be fun right it could be fun it could be a nice little project to, to learn and, and figure out how all that works but time-consuming too so it's uh Concerning on that front. It's concerning on that front. So, I don't know. Well, we'll, we'll see. I want to do it, but I don't know if I'm going to have the time. I might. I might not. I mean, the, 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 um, 
It wouldn't have to be like very precise, so it, it should be pretty simple. I would want space to put both of my phones here, though. And a way to charge both of the phones. Not necessarily at the same time, but maybe at the same time. Maybe I could put some like electrical in it. Are we going to run out of ammunition here? Yes, we are. Uh, maybe a way to put some like electrical wires and stuff in it and then plug in um, like like kind of like a USB hub thing kind of in that as well. Maybe. So that I, uh, I can just kind of slot both my phones into it. The this one goes horizontally, and then my uh, my primary phone would go vertically. So I like to I like to leave it there and then read at times as well, which I can also do while I'm commentating and stuff, but only if I have it resting on uh, on that spot. If I have to hold my phone, I can't I can't read and commentate at the same time. But if uh, if I do have it there, then I can read and commentate at the same time. I can handle that just fine. Um, but as soon as I add in also having to like hold it and, and look away from my screen, like it has to be in that my peripheral vision, right? And uh, and then I can handle it. So I like to have that there at times. Um, mostly for like Discord and stuff like that, you know? To check out Discord messages and stuff on the fly without having to pick up my phone and look away and, and, and look it up or like looking up stuff on wikis and Googling stuff or whatever. It would be nice to just have it right in front of me ready to go rather than having to, to pick it up and google something and then read it there because it's a little bit harder for me to do that um, but could be a fun project I have, I have no idea how to get started on it so I'll have to maybe learn uh, maybe this weekend sometime if I'm not obsessed with Monster Hunter which I probably will be I will probably be obsessed with Monster Hunter and not touch it <laughs> that's, that's my guess that's my guess the RuneScape stuff um, by the way uh, this, is, this reminds me, the RuneScape stuff, the RuneScape content, the RuneScape series that I said would not be coming this week, but would be coming next week. I don't know when it's coming. I'm going to tell you straight up, I don't know when it's coming. It could come this week, it could come next week. I do not know. I do not know. Um, I do want to do weekly episodes. I have to get the first one out of the way, and I don't know how to do it. So, I just have to figure out how to do it. That's all. It is It is one thing that I really, really, really want to do. Um, but... You know, I don't know. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how. I know how to do it, right? I could do it. I just I don't know where to start, and I don't know how I want to do it. Is is the thing? You know, I don't know what kind of format I want it to be in necessarily, or or what kind of content I want to make, and then how much editing I want to put into it and stuff. I don't I don't know the the end goals here exactly. I know that the right thing to do is just record something and then just uh, kind of forget about it <laughs> and just kind of do it. You know. Do it, get it over with, and, and, and refine it over time. But I don't, I don't know. I, I have to I have to get into the habit of hitting the record button on it, and then like make sure it's all organized and stuff, and then make it all. And you know, it's just a lot of a lot of stuff to do, really. But we're uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. It will happen. I promise you this. RuneScape content will happen. If any of you are looking forward to it, it will happen. I doubt it, but. Um, it, it's gonna happen. Whether you want it or not, it's, it's, uh, it's coming. So this is the last KF2 I have to record for the day, and then on to two Gunfire Reborn and a Yamajack tries. It's, it's a lot. It's two and a half hours after this, and this one's not gonna be done until like seven, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be like nine o'clock by the time I'm done, which is just, and that's a little bit brutal, for sure. Thankfully, my, my mother works late on, uh, Thursdays is my understanding, so that'll work out. Here's hoping today, for some reason, she didn't come home early. <laughs> and and is, they start yelling at me at 8 o'clock when she goes to bed, when I have to start being quiet and suffer. <laughs> Here's hoping, right? Here's hoping. Because I'd, really I'd really hate to have to, to put all this off till tomorrow. Because that would really make tomorrow suck. I mean, it is Friday tomorrow. Looking forward to the weekend. Everything, uh, everything's going well this week. It's been going well since the start of the week. It's been, I mean, it's just, uh, you look at the difference between this week and last week, and it's like, just so much better. I mean, I'm in such a better mood, and I'm happy and excited, and uh, I'm not as negative, and it's just, it's good all around, you know? Every 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 aspect of it is, is just, it's good stuff, you know? I do gotta get those other perk things into the PSD so I can 
start playing on other perks. I mean, the right thing to I might do it this weekend, but the better thing to do is just do it. So I force myself to have to get the the perk icons in there because I have in my uh, my other um, thumbnail template, but I just have to like copy it over, and I just I haven't really wanted to do that yet. I wish I knew Photoshop better. Cause I've got Photoshop now for the new template because it just it, there are some things in that that I can't port over to Paint on that. Um, some things in it that I can't get working with uh, with the script properly. Like it's got like uh, text borders and shadows and stuff, and I can't really do that with uh, with Paint on Net so easily, um, or with uh, with Python. Neither of those can really handle that super easy. I could do it with both, and I could do it in either. It's just a lot of work in both. So, I've uh, I've got Photoshop now so that I can I can I can make that work. Who is this mysterious um, and uh, one of the things that I wish I could have in Photoshop is in a group. So you got like groups, right? You got your group, your layer groups. What are we here for? Uh, one of the things that I wish I could have is um, like a group that only one layer can be. Uh, visible at any time. So if I like, you know, if I have like a Burning Paris background and a Desolation background, if I toggle on Desolation, it toggles off Burning Paris, you know, because only one of them can be allowed at once. You know, this this, this group isn't big enough for the both of us kind of thing. That's what I want. <laughs> that would make it easier because uh, like right now I have to like go in and hide the one that uh, that is currently active and then unhide the one that, uh, that I want. Or even just have like the like to, to to like I don't know have a way to switch between backgrounds would be would, would be really nice because I have like a ton of them right they're all saved in there and uh, it's not much but like it takes you know a good like ten seconds per thumbnail you know it's work it's work for sure and uh, it's you know it's not the end of the world but where right here. Not the end of the world, but it's uh, it'd be nice if I could just make it easier. You know, make my life a little bit better. I like to to try and do that in every aspect that I can. You know, whenever possible, just uh, make your life a little bit easier. It's the it's kind of the whole programmer kind of mentality. You know, programming for uh, utility rather than just for fun. I like to, to to improve on things and make them a little bit more automated and simpler, so I don't have to do as much. You know, work 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 smart, not hard. You know, automate everything. What other what other kind of stuff is there? I don't know. See you, dude. Oh, you're alive still, hey? I love the the like when I started on Gunslinger. Like I was like having some trouble with the the reload cancel, and I was like, I don't know. It's not really worth using. It's not worth caring about that nowadays. I'm just like not. Nah. Every perk, reload cancel, 100% of the time. Every perk, every gun, reload cancel. I'm firing off like rockets on uh, demo, reload cancel. Okay, I reload cancel everything. It's my life though, it's what I do. I'm really tired. This is why I wanted to, this is why I should be recording earlier on, you know, so that when I'm done with the stream, I'm done with, with work, but, oh well, it is what it is. Can't change what's happened, right? Like, I've got a Discord message right now, right? I have to pick up my phone, and if I want, like, I have to put my phone down afterwards, but, like, that's, like, an effort, you know what I mean? And then it, like, clunk clunks, and it's, uh, it's just annoying. If I just had my phone just sitting in front of me anyway, then I wouldn't have to worry about that. Yeah, whatever, man. Hit me. Hit me, baby, one more time. Get stuck again. No, get stuck, dude. I want you to be stuck. I wanted you to be stuck, though. I think I might be... Yeah, I got one shot off on him. <laughs> I don't know where he is, man. Where is this boy? 
I love unloading the Glock into him. He's just like a big old target, and it's just you just get to see his health just like bleed away. I just find it so satisfying. <laughs> I love it. The Discord I message got was no. It makes as much sense to you as it does to me. But it'd be nice if I could, uh, like, when it's open on my side right here even, I can, like, check on it pretty easily and it doesn't uh, distract me too much. Um, whereas if I were to be, but it does, like, take my voice away. So my voice sounds different right now as I'm looking at my phone. Whereas if it were in front of me, my voice would sound normal and you wouldn't even be able to notice that I'm changing anything. So getting this thing 3D printed could be kind of cool. I don't know how to do it, though. So I'll have to, I'll have to learn. I'll have to learn. I've 3D printed a couple of things, not had a success yet. One of these days, one of these days I will succeed. One of these days I will. I'm so just not looking forward to taking my medicine. I know I talked about it last episode. I try not to. Let's go just this way. I try not to talk about it too much. But, um, yes, I know where I'm going. Nah, well, we're going to go this way. I thought, I thought we'd maybe like skip going up the other way, you know, this way, like I normally do. But, uh, come out on the other side, but no, we got, we got like uh, surrounded by some Zeds and I didn't, I didn't like it and I decided to leave. So again, in this one, we're not actually going to go to that spot. We're going to go somewhere else. Uh, maybe not. I like this spot, okay? I like this spot. It does make it take a bit longer though. I don't know, like the Zeds don't spawn as well when you're standing here or something. Perhaps they take longer to get up like this ramp and stuff and come down from all there and then walk down and get over to you. Like it's just a long walk from where they spawn. So um end up with Zeds coming a little bit more sparsely. As they take their sweet old time making their way over to you. Like there's a float in there right now that I can't shoot because he's just not within visible range yet. Well he's not within uh, shootable range yet. I mean, he is now, but he wasn't then. Okay? That's the important thing. Ah, oh, dear. I'm just tired. It is really the thing. That's why the commentary is suffering in this episode. I'm not sad or anything. I'm just tired. It's easy to mistake them, but... <laughs> I, uh, I'm just tired. I am quite tired, though. That's what I get. That's what I get, you know? Consequences of my actions right here. Right here. This is me uh, not going to work at the right time and then having to work late and then being like, wow, I have to work so late. Why do I have to work so late? I only put off all the work until late. Well, you know, there's your, there's your gosh darn answer there. No, oh, what can you do? What can you do? I had fun this morning. I had fun this morning. I got to relax. It was night. It was a nice morning, and I have to I have to have a less nice night as a result. But you know, I don't think it was a good trade. You know, but it wasn't the worst trade deal in the history of ever. Not quite to that degree yet. Not quite. We might. We might be close. No, we're not. We're not close at all. Can I jump over this? Yes, I can. Do I want to? No, I don't. I want to just stand right here and let these guys come to me. I do a little bit of a sort of like hold, hold, hold style content here, okay? Yeah, I think they can spawn up there and then they have to like walk all the way down when you're down there, which is just like a huge time waster. If you're trying to be fast. I don't normally want to be fast, but today I do because I want to be done with recording. <laughs> to be honest with you, um, much as I love it, it is. Uh, wow, you guys got annihilated. As much as I love it, it's uh, it's tiring. It's exhausting. It's exhausting work. You know, a lot of people. I don't know. A lot of people say like, "Hey, why not, not to me, but uh, to other streamers? Like, hey, why don't you just stream more? You make more money. You know, like you're streaming like four hours a day. Why don't you just make that five and you just make twenty five percent more money? Hey, it doesn't really work that way. Um, you don't really make literally twenty five percent more money. You would make more money if you streamed longer, but like, <laughs> it's tiring. If you, have, if you haven't streamed before, like, uh, it's not like just talking to friends, you know? A lot of people think that it is. 
He's like, I don't know, I'm watching you and I'm, I'm, I'm looking at you playing the game and I'm not, I'm able to see everything you're doing while I'm holding a conversation with everybody in chat and I'm talking to these people, but it's like, it's not the same. It's, it's not. And uh, it's not to overrate the, the, the difficulty of being a Twitch streamer or YouTuber or whatever, because it's not that hard. Um, it's not very skilled, I guess I'll say, but it is, it is, uh, it is hard. To be to be an entertaining one that's uh, successful is kind of a skilled work, I suppose. But I've had this rant before, I think. But it's uh, yeah, it's just I think we came from like way up here or something like that. Did we jump down or something? I don't even know, dude. Can I go up there? We're just exploring on this one, finding our way around this big old hunk of metal. I think we might have jumped down here, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I didn't reload. What am I doing? All right, we'll we'll head up uh, the way I know how to. I'm lost. <laughs> I wanted to find my way around. I can't find my way around. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I am. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I've come from. I don't know who I am. Cotton Eye Joe. Cotton Eye Joe. Cotton Eye Joe. Cotton Eye Joe. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton Eye Joe. I, uh, I do that bit all the time, <laughs> as you might have noticed. Um, it's just, that's what, that's where my, like, brain goes when, uh, when somebody's like, where'd you come from? Like, where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Kanajo. It's just, like, one thing leads to another, and that's, that, that's, that's what leads to that, you know? It's, uh, it's irrefutable, in my opinion. Yeah, this is a much nicer place to camp. Much harder. For sure, like a uh, KF rig on uh, on the platform down there is actually quite an easy map up here. I'd rate it as a uh, moderate map because you get we haven't had any flush pounds, no quarter pounds, no scrakes. Have barely even had any stalkers yet. Had a couple of husks, nearly killed us. But it's uh, it's a bit harder up here for sure. I mean, anywhere that you're in a place without like a place to back out and where stuff spawns right on top of you, basically, it's uh, it's typically much harder. But you know, sometimes you just don't want to do the, uh, the same old, same old kind of stuff, right? You want that variety. You want to kind of do something new. You know, I like KF Rig, uh, but I'm gonna get sick of it if I'm always down there every single time. I am, and I want it to go a little bit faster today, so it's a good excuse for us to come up here and uh, and try a little bit of a different style of content. I mean, we're still probably going to win, like, to be sure. I will probably not lose here, because we, we do have an escape route by just jumping over this. It's a painful one, but it's an escape route, right? Like, we can get out. Worst case scenario, we're not really trapped, unless we get hit, in which case we might fall and then die. But I don't think that'll happen. Hello, buddy. Why wow, you like left? Good job, man. Get to the indicated pod for resupply. Good job. I ate these tables. Yeah, I didn't have a cafeteria in my school. Did I? No, I didn't. I don't think any of my schools had a cafeteria. Never had a never had a school with a cafeteria in it. Yeah, no, I don't think I have. Trying to think, I had my element, my first like elementary school, which yeah, they didn't have a cafeteria. Um, we're not at the boss wave yet. No, we're not. Uh, I had my secondary elementary school, my second elementary school after the the one that was in shut down. Um, that one. Also, did not have an L, uh, cafeteria. We had an, we had a place to eat there, I believe, but uh, it, well, it wasn't a cafeteria. There was there was like a desk where they would occasionally serve food ads. <laughs> not a, not really a cafeteria so much. Usually, they put the desk away and didn't have any food anyway. Um, I think that might have been my middle school though. So I went to middle school after that, and the first middle school that I went to did not have a cafeteria, no. I'm like walking through them in my brain right now. 
Um, the second middle school I went to did also not have a cafeteria. And um, then I went back to the same middle school after that. So it was, you know, moves three times. But I went to, I went to the same middle school twice for, for uh, seventh and... No, for sixth and, seventh and eighth grade. I went to the same middle school. But for seventh grade, I went to a different one. It was, it was a great, great middle school experience, I'll tell you. Um, let's see, let's see. Yeah, and then after that, I went to an online school where I didn't have a cafeteria. Obviously, it was an online thing. Then I went to a high school for a year before I dropped out. And, well, not really a year. It was like a few months. And, um... That school had, like, not really a cafeteria, but it had a, like, foyer that just had a whole bunch of tables in it. See, so, yeah, I haven't had, I haven't had, a, I haven't had any schools with a cafeteria in it. You know, never have I, I've been to schools that have, like, school lunches, but not, uh, not cafeterias. Like, a lot of people talk about how they went to school and they would, uh, buy lunch at school. That wasn't the case for me. Like, that wasn't really available. Um, you could buy lunch ahead of time if you're on, like, uh... A subscription service or whatever for the school lunch and they bring you lunch you would have it or you'd have to go to the place to get it I think but I, I didn't do that I had lunches my, my parents would just provide me lunches which is not always an option so that's why the school provides lunches but anyway um, I thought I felt something behind me but I guess not uh, I've never had a school that has a cafeteria and people talk about like going to cafeterias and and uh, you know, they'd be out of their favorite food, or it would be like a bad, bad lunch day or whatever. And I'm like, I just, is that, a, is that a thing that really happens? Like, do, do you really go to, to school and like go to the cafeteria and, and like buy lunch there? Cause that's, that just sounds so insane to me. Like that's never been a thing for, for me growing up. I didn't pay much attention to, to school in general. I mean, you know, it wasn't really a, a place of, I mean, growing up in general was not really a, an experience that I particularly enjoyed anyway but okay that's like a cheaty kind of angle there buddy um you know, growing up wasn't really like an experience that i enjoyed anyway let alone like the specific details of it like school and whatnot like not really a, it wasn't really my cup of tea i mean I, I think i've said it before but like it was it was a it was a fine childhood it was just it was made for somebody else and then you know i showed up and they're like, well, we don't really want to design a new one, so here you just have this one. Then I'm like, but I don't want tomatoes. I wanted like lettuce. I'm like, well, we don't have lettuce. You're gonna get tomatoes. Like, well, I don't like tomatoes. I don't know why I want tomatoes. I love tomatoes. Look, oh, yeah. it's uh, it was a good life. Just it wasn't mine, you know. Time's up. I, I was living somebody else's life. They had a good life, and I might I might have had a good life wherever I was supposed to be, but <laughs> not 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 where I ended up at. Um, yeah, I don't know. That brings me on to, like, I mean, we don't have the time for this one, really, but... You know, I always feel bad when I say that I didn't really like my childhood growing up. Because, uh, people are like, well, okay. it's like, well, what happened to you? It's, I'm like, well, I don't know, like, it's not, it's not like I feel like my, uh, what I went through is any, any less or any more than, than what somebody else might have gone through, but, um... Like, it's, it's like, well, what happened to you? You know, you had friends, you had shelter, you had food, you had all this stuff. And I'm like, yeah, but like, I don't know, to a certain extent, it kind of feels like, you know, daddy bought me a pink Lamborghini, but I wanted a purple one, you know? Um, but like, it is actually a problem, so not really the same to be. Kind of, it kind of feels bad when I complain about having a bad childhood, because I recognize I had a good childhood. It's just that it wasn't good for me. So it, ma it makes me feel bad when I when I complain about it at times. People are, and people people like poke fun at it, like you had a great childhood. What are you talking about? I'm like yeah, but like I had a, you would have loved my childhood. Your sister wouldn't have. <laughs> like it was it was a great boy's childhood. I'm just I'm not a boy. Anyway, enough about that. Forget how I even got onto that topic, but something something about like. I don't even know. How do we get onto that topic? Anyway, it doesn't matter. My life's good now, is, is the moral of the story. I like my life now. Today, I'm happy. 
<laughs> that's what matters in the end of the day, right? Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Hope you all are happy too. And I uh, leave a comment if you liked it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comments or like the video if you have anything. To... <laughs> Bye.